want to try I to try some buzz garb today buzz garb you absolute maverick who wants to draw well anyway <laughs> in this day and age I have buzz rock <sighs> I'm going to buzz rock How's it going, my Captain? Welcome, Team Omni Jim. Mark, welcome. How's it going, guys? Sorry, a bit late. I had to go to physiotherapy. Shed your tears for New Meta 3. Have you heard about this, Jack? No. Mark's done a Nuzlocke. Oh, God. <laughs> and, uh, there's been some victims. <laughs> I'll start watching tomorrow. <laughs> I'm so done with this Nuzlocke. I, I know that he's been playing it, but I haven't watched any. So I know, I know he's only on, like, episode four or something. Yeah. And he, he's already done. Yeah. I'm, I'm done. We're late, yeah, uh, but we're here, so better than ever. Leg things. Leg based injuries. Um, why is this guy not picking whether he wants to go first or second? Yeah, I've got some bad news on that front. The leg front. Mm -hmm. Look at my hand. Bully. Oh, Bully. I don't have to care about this game anymore, so it's fine. It's forbidden light full force. Yeah. Why is this guy not playing? Oh. Uh, Evening, Max. Welcome, welcome. Uh, you need to be muted, Discord. Marky, how's it going? No, Nightbot's oh, wrong. Mad Captain. <laughs> oh no. Uh, well, I guess, yeah. I'll let people get in. I've been better, Marky. I've been better. It's been a hard day today. Definitely got the wrong supporter there. Hmm. It's actually a terrible day as well because my mum's car set on fire today as well. What? Yeah, while she was driving it. She's okay and everything, but the car <laughs> set on fire. It's set on fire? Yeah. Well, that's inconvenient, isn't it? Huh. Yeah, I'm mad. <laughs> um, had better days. <laughs> it all started when my mum's car set on fire. <laughs> Chapter one. <laughs> How do I mute? One of those spontaneous combustion days. Mm hmm. Oh, 
Boy, this hand is incredible. And sorry that I'm eating in front of you guys as well. I've had no time today. Got some fruit and a sandwich. Not a banana one. Not together. What? How dare you? How dare you? Yeah, I mean, how many people are in here? 20. 20 odd. I don't want to keep saying it over and over, but... Uh... Yeah, can't go. Oh, I definitely. Mm. I'm playing open. Does this actually make me more dead? Yeah, I shouldn't have evolved this. <laughs> it makes me more likely to die. <laughs> Stupid weakness. Can't over 60 either, got a pass. Stupid weakness. Still waiting for the turn TV, come on. What turn are we in? Four? Five? Four. I mean, this footage is important. Vika Volt, Bulu, bricking and losing is important footage to be out there on the internet, you know? Because some people still play it in tournaments. So, I'm doing the world a favour here uh, by doing this. You saint. You I, saint. I play this deck so you don't have to. That's literally my mentality. Dombro, how's it going? Welcome. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Ta da. Oh boy, DC fairy. That's a fairy. Don't you do it? Don't you do it? Slow roll me, guy. Four forbidden lights set on Poker Beach. Yeah. Well, were there any cards that we missed? Um, the only notable things are there's nothing that we missed. The only notable things is B string is a rare and the answer is a hollow. Okay. Um, but other than that, the set is almost. And uh, full art lady isn't in the set, but we knew one full art wasn't going to be in the set. Okay. I just don't know why they chose. I didn't know how they were going to choose it, so I didn't know what to take yeah. out of our set list. 
Yeah. Um, oh, brilliant. This guy just died down. But yeah, nothing too surprising. I was told that beast ring being a rare actually doesn't isn't too important because uh, I think the way uncommons and rares are and like the waiting between them is that there's actually a pretty similar chance uh, you should get a similar amount of commons and uncommons as you do it particular rare uh, trainers as you do particular rares so it actually shouldn't affect the price too much as well. Okay. Which is cool. But even so, it being a rare is fine. Thank God for student loans. I mean, it's still a rare. Like, how much? How rares don't hollows don't cost much these days. No, but Beast Ring is a playable, super playable that people want four of. You know, I still don't think it will cost break the bank amount. No, no. Yeah, Mark's right. Two dollars at most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) I was going to say two fifty at most. Maybe an initial spike, but who really cares? I was going to say, Cynthia initially was $2. They're now like $0.75, cents, I think. Is it like Cynthia where it was hollow in Japan but uncommon everywhere else? It's really weird. Cynthia being hollow in Japan is really weird because I don't I don't know why they had Cynthia as a hollow in Japan but didn't here. But then Deantha is a hollow here and was a hollow in Japan. I don't know why they didn't do the same thing. It doesn't mm. really make sense. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Um, but... Sure. Oh, Mad Captain. Five uh, cheers cheering. for Joe. Cheers. Maxlix is now three pounds. So I think Maxlix are in general um, because it's an older set and didn't see it saw play immediately, but it it got a lot better later on when things like Mega Turbo and stuff rotated and stuff like that. I think that's why the price is different. I don't know. It won't be. I don't think it'll be too bad. It's a really good card, but it's not in every deck as well. So it's in every Ultra Beast deck, but it's not in every deck. Maybe in a year or two it'll get expensive. Yeah. I don't know. It's nothing too bad to worry about. I haven't actually analysed the rest of the set, if I'm honest, but I'm almost certain we didn't miss anything. They were the only two notable things that I was told about, so... Pretty sure we're good. Yeah, should be good. So I'll scroll quickly. You can have some fun today reviewing our review of Ultra Prism. Always a good laugh. <laughs> Seeing how right or wrong we were. Oh, we didn't talk about... Uh, we didn't need to talk oh, about this. Oh, Baby Buzz. Oh, is Baby Buzz in the set? Okay. We'll chat about him. We'll get him up on the screen. We'll give him some airtime. Baby Buzz is in the set. Interesting. I don't know how he missed that. Hmm. So, we can play, play, draw one, hope to hit grass, so we can Guzma this one, the more threatening one. We kind of want to Guzma this ASAP, because they are going to be running max pots, so cashing in on it early does sound important. So I guess we draw the one card. I mean, is drawing two cards a high enough chance... Even so. Uh, if we were to Guzma and miss, we always lose the game. Let's try not to always lose the game. Let's have a backup plan, huh? Feels good, man. <laughs> okay. What am I saying? It's me. Of course I only need one draw.
Tiger GX is a great card. <laughs> Yeah, we did we did rate the metal stuff quite highly. I also need to do a ten minute so less it or oh, sorry, like a Forbidden Light in less than ten minute video. I need to set that up soon as well. There's a lot that I need to do, but I actually have more time on my hands than I thought I would now, so we can actually start just focusing completely on content. Churning out videos. Oh god, I'm dead. Because I don't really need to care about the game till Worlds now, so... That's alright. Feels good. <laughs> Boxing match against Pablo. I mean, the weight difference between us is insane. <laughs> I'm, I'm like seven weight classes above Pablo if it was a boxing match. Doesn't mean I'd win. <laughs> it's just in the boxing world, people wouldn't call that a fair fight. You know? I'm also a black belt in karate, so I have weight advantage you actually? and experience. I, didn't know that. I did karate huh. for like 11 years. Damn. Yeah. I know boxing's not karate, but it's still fighting experience. I'm not sure Better Pablo nothing. has. I bat myself. About time for you to make an upload schedule for your channel. Well, I don't know whether Joe's seen this, but I've spent the past half an hour building a Sheffield, building a plan up until Sheffield Regionals. So, there's going to be lots of boxes for us to fill, lots of videos for us to record. Lots of streams for us to stream. So hopefully for the next two months we should have a steady upload schedule. Where I come from, as long as you've got a fist you can box. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Show the plan. I mean, the plan is very empty at the moment because I've only just made it, but you'll see the plan via videos. That's the plan. Uh, having those that two-card combo is so powerful. I wouldn't have minded if he just had one of those things. Show the plan. Ah, that really makes our sycamore chances worse. Bad draw. Yeah, I think we're still so slow tempo to just evolve into a charge bug and hit for 30 here that we have to try and risk. Risk it all! Cry. Very good. Got him right where we want him. This is always a hard matchup for this deck, but still. When are we seeing Forbidden Light decks? Um, when's it? When's it released? It's released at the start of two weeks on Friday. Oh wow. 
Maybe after this weekend we start? Maybe this weekend uh, I start. I, I was thinking yeah, as of Monday pretty much. So mm -hmm. anytime around then is the plan. Got to do one more big video this week and then it's pretty much for good and right. Start. Yeah. Yeah. So, we go Skylar, Candy, then instruct into our dreams. Dreams. Easy. Easiest instruct of my life. Easiest dreams of my life. Three targets, 16 cards, two draws. Never tell me the odds. Nailed no. it. Not really. We didn't nail it at all, actually. We uh, lost the game. There you go. See you later. Congrats. Let's just keep clocking some Bulu games just to prove a point of what this deck really is. And maybe one of the most opinionated people who openly hates on Bulu. But remember, I did play it in a tournament, and I've actually I played it in like four tournaments. So I've got a lot of experience with what this deck is capable of, and I'm fully endorsing how bad it is. Table Mon, thanks for the host. I didn't even see that. Does that come up on the screen? Came in the chat. Oh, right. I missed it. Yeah, I mean, that's a hand too, I guess. Um... Guys? We have an energy lotto on the screen. Hmm. And it's not even my deck. <laughs> <laughs> well then. Looks like we're going to have some fun. a spread deck that hasn't actually done any damage to me yet. I don't understand. He's just powered up the Lele. Awesome. Mm. Do we want a manual attachment? No, he'd rather draw into other stuff that isn't the grass energy. Or the lightning energy off of our Cynthia. We want to draw more Bulus and stuff like that. I can freely attach this. Where's my turn one, Lily? I know, messed up. We can get an attachment if we really want to. Is it worth it on a Guru? 
that's probably the thing he snipes, so it's always probably bad for us to try and attack with a guru. Um, I think we just hold it. Maybe Cynthia it back in next turn. It's weird how Glaceon, Glaceon and Leafeon were very, very hyped cards in the set. Neither of them have seen huge success. Leafeon definitely hasn't seen success. Glaceon's poked its head out in Expanded, but not much. And it didn't do well in uh, Stuttgart either. Everyone decided to play as our arc rather than beat it. Mm. I think that makes sense for the European meta, just because we haven't had expanded, so I can see people wanting to just play a good deck rather than trying to. beat the meta. I want to be the problem. I'm not sure the Glaceon's just a flash in the pan. I think it'll. The deck is in a vacuum so strong that it'll have to see play at some point. I don't feel like it's a one-hit wonder card. Especially because it's such an easy stage one to get out. Mm -hmm. It's just easily achievable. Annoying. Powerful. So it should see success at some point. We don't need this card. We actually don't need our entire hand. I could get a third Vika Vault out. How does that sound? Leaving this slot open opens up Ultra Ball outs for a good draw and Lele outs for a good draw, so we don't go for the third Vika Vault. It's not required. Definitely not required. Seems like we missed choice band, it's an easy decision to heal. New Articuno will make Glacier on tier one. I can't remember what the Articuno does. It's like a reprint of um the Fire Red Leaf Green one, I think, something like that. Mm-hmm. And I I have that Fire Red Leaf Green one, and I think it's pretty bad. It has the Tapu Koko ability, right? Rush in or I whatever. I think so. Not rush in, but the one that moves in. The scramble switch. Bust him. Yeah, that one. Aero trail. Aero trail. Uh, what's going on here, Mr. Uh, Mr. Glaceon? I have to assume he'll respond on this, right? I mean, if he doesn't, it's actually the worst case scenario for us. Okay. Uh, Rhea Freya, thanks so much for following. That is awesome. Welcome to the team.
play the Bridget. I don't mind re trying to re-establish the, uh, the other Vika Vault after that active one was going to go down. Just always be secure. I know that his deck really wasn't good at dealing with 150 damage, but still. In the long game, it uh, gets rid of more cards from my hand, because I could play the Vika Vault and the Candy the following turn. Whereas the Bridget is only ever one target. Said the name right, that's actually something to celebrate, so that is rare. <laughs> Definitely rare. That's incredible. So now that I'm not going to uh to Brazil. Mm. What would I have played? Who knows? What's good? Who knows? Who knows? What was I testing? That's a, that's a real who knows right there. That's a real poggers. <laughs> Man, Hearthstone releases really do mess with Pokemon testing. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> Whoopsie. I've been... Odd Paladin for too long. Mm. Playing raid leaders. Hard running them, Jack. Hard running raid leaders. Yeah. <laughs> Thoughts? Uh, I don't hate it. A lot of lists are. <laughs> um. Wait, why don't I do this? This is wrong, yo. Is it? Hmm. No, it's actually still right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not dumb. You gave me grief for Stormwind Champion. That's also a good card now. Jay, Jay Dutton Dunn. subscribed with Twitch Prime. That's amazing. Thank you, Club. Jay. Thank you very much. That's grand. Enjoy your little Jimmy. Yeah, that's yours to keep. Till the end of the month. <laughs> to have and to hold. To spam. Within reason. In top decks and in misplays. <laughs> Where is this going, Joe? <laughs> Playing Nine Tails Zoroark? Why did you do that? I don't understand. Opinion on Solgaleo GX, Jack. The new one or the old one? The old one still has probably my favourite GX attack of all time, but is just too slow. Oh wow, Rare Freya just cheered 40 bits. Amazing. Oh, boy. Really amazing. Thank you so much for the support. The old one, Jack. The old one. Yeah, the old one's a really cool card, but I don't think it's... And I love the GX attack, but I don't think it's good enough. Right now, it still feels very slow. Um, the ability is really, really cool, though, as well. Jardim, how's it going? You sent me a message the other day, and unfortunately, I'm no longer going to Brazil now. So that sucks. I hope you, I hope you have a great time, though. Where is he going? That was awesome. I think uh, he's seeing family out there. Nice. I think he's a bit shit. You'd say Mimikyu with counters is better. It's better than Solgaleo. I feel like they're doing very different things. Oh. Why is it so glaring super boost energy? I see, I understand now. I'm following. We're there. Ah. 
30, 60, 80, 60, he will knock out. How does he knock me out afterwards? Here's my question. So, we have a couple of options here. We can hit for 60, sort of leaving him 3, 6, 9, 12, leaving him relatively close to a knockout, but he still has to commit more. The downside is... Is there a downside? Yeah, I kind of like it. If we attach to the bench, I think it's fine to do it like this. Do I like 60 more than 30? Because I get to draw an extra card, and because it actually matters, yeah. <laughs> Kuri or worth playing in Bulu to hit numbers. I think it's only exactly Guardi where you're concerned about the numbers. I think if I was going to play any modifier, it would be the Tapu Koko, because that's just a good card. Mm. Kukui, people have meddled with. I know there's a UK Bulu player who swears by Giovanni's scheme as well. Um, I don't know. I feel like there's definitely not enough Guardian in the meta to make it worthwhile to tech for outside of maybe the Coco, which is a reasonable card on its own. You can even try Coco GX, actually, as a potential other card. Yeah, personally, I'm. we're seeing more of it than we should. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you can see it there, bro. What happened? Did they disconnect? Probably a disconnect. <laughs> To be honest, what happened? Wait, we can get two Orangurus on this ladder? <laughs> what have I been doing this whole time? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, Clefairy is another option, actually, to be good against Guardi. Clefairy is another good tech card, actually. I may even play that over Coco. Willy Gilly, thanks so much for subbing. That is insane. Thanks, guys, for the support today. Really appreciate it. Already. Great stuff. Oh, as if I'm one energy short. That's sad. Right, I'm ready for some Planet of the Apes in a minute. When we get those gurus. What? Planet of the Apes. Uh, what? <laughs> Let's play Quad Guru. Sorry, I thought you said Planet of the Apes. <laughs> Oh my goodness. What's going on here then? <laughs> Charge him, that's the perfect way of uh, writing him out. That on there. I wonder why they chose to lead Zerua. Going second as well feels. Oh, wait, wait, they went first. That'll be why. But they still attached to their Bulu. Before trading as well, which is also strange. Unless they're opting not to trade at all this turn. Is that 30 really good enough? Huh? Guys, something magical is happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh my god, that's a beam of all. <laughs> we could double Vika Vault instruct into Skylar for choice band to KO this. Okay. Instruct into 
the ultra ball getting me a Skylar to get choice band. Yeah. The classic Bulusor Bulusaurus. This'll be fun. <laughs> Porygon Crabominable. Oh my god. Have we done it? Uh, we want to do these first. Uh, AJ Rem 6 thanks so much for the follow. That is epic. Got him. I need to stop eating these party rooms. <laughs> it's a Wednesday night, Jack. Party central. 20 for 50p. How can I say no? <laughs> that is that is value. That's a steal. That is actually ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, fair play. I actually stole from Tesco. <laughs> Did the alarm go off as you were walking out? And you're like, I yeah. know. <laughs> Played, oh no! <laughs> this is, a, this is unreal. This is an outrage. <laughs> I'm not even sorry. I was waving. <laughs> Bye! I'm out the door. Are we going to get another intimidating 30 damage this turn? Ooh, stinger. You little stinger. Oh. So me and James made Buzz One again at a league yesterday. And? Um, it was pretty interesting. Uh, I'm, I was underwhelmed. Kirk, I'm angry. <laughs> I was underwhelmed, but I think... It's because, like, we were... I don't know, our, our list never felt... Like... Good. It didn't It didn't not <laughs> feel good, but it didn't, it didn't feel right. Okay. Because neither of us really knew how we wanted to build it. Uh, Bulu day. Oh. Bulu garb. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, have they got the magical candy Venusaur? Have they done it? Have they got the combo? In EV, I'm, I'm not bad. I mean, it's actually been a pretty rough day today, but moving on. I'm in a bit, I'm in a good mood now. In spite of it all. He's against Venusaur. He's well excited. <laughs> if ever there's a time that I can be happy, it's when I'm facing a Venusaur deck. Poiple Mill. <laughs> we actually didn't talk about the Poiple. We mentioned that it was a uh, Ultra, Ultra Beast. Beast. I think that's about it. Joe, it's it's got inbuilt. It's so much life more. Due. Oh my goodness! But inbuilt life due. Broken. Because people are not playing Guzma in this format. Don't even know what it does. I don't know the meaning of the word. We don't even need this, right? Stone strong. We don't need you around here. I mean, the only time I need it is if he pays retreat, attaches. No, but he can't. No, there's no, there's no danger here. There's no way. There's no just way. No way. Oh, as if I missed energy. 
<laughs> Got him. We beat the Zoroark Venusaur deck. How, Joe? Tell me how. It's our best matchup. Luckily, we queued into our best matchup. Right, what time is it? 10 past 9. 56 peeps in here. Not bad, lads. Not bad. Thanks for coming along today. So, yeah. He built like you. Is that. <laughs> It has been a rough day for me because I went to the physiotherapist. It was hard enough getting my leg moved about and stuff. Pretty painful. They're literally trying to find your limits to where you're gritting your teeth and saying stop for about an hour. Um, then they, uh, they said that it would be highly unadvisable to fly. Um, in five days time and that uh, my I got more details on my ligament damage I think they've narrowed it down to what it actually is now um, and unfortunately it means I can't walk for another like four to six weeks and it's going to be a lot of physio and it's going to be um, a lot of me doing lots of stretches and stuff like that and it means, like, on a side note that you guys probably don't really care about, but it means I can't play football for another, like, six months, which is a long oh, time. Yeah. A long time to not be doing the only sport that I care about, really. Six so, months, damn. That is a lot of, a lot of bad news today. Mm. Mostly, to be fair, mostly for me, uh, the Brazil news is the saddest. I think it... I pretty much had it coming because I knew I couldn't. I like I can't even put weight on my leg at all. So before this, uh, before the physio, I was like, "How much I'm can ready. we do in? How much can we do in five days that can get my leg movable enough to sit on a plane and to even fit into a plane, basically? Because of how my leg is, so my leg is supported with a uh, a brace which like keeps it out straight. So I physically need like a bunch of room with my leg." Um, so getting on a plane, let alone trying to, you know, go to the tournament itself, all the struggles of like, um, you know, even getting to the hotel, moving my luggage around is like, geez, mm. that, that would be impossible. And yeah, just the tournament itself would be really rough. So, uh, just too difficult, unfortunately to go, you know, but when you actually get the doctor saying it's, it could cause long lasting damage to your leg, you're like. Yeah, okay. Can't can't go then. Oh fine, Doc. So missed out on potential embarrassment of missing points again at a tournament, so that's good. <laughs> Dodged a bullet <laughs> there. On the plus side. But other than that, pretty down to be honest. However, on the plus side, it does mean we can actually start Doing some good things for Forbidden Light. Yes. Give us so, more time for the channel, which is good. For every cloud. Um, and I get some holiday back, so hopefully if my leg's good enough for American internet, I might go, question mark. I don't know. It may still be too soon. <laughs> um, but yeah. I'm hoping now my site's set on Sheffield. I'll definitely be able to go to Sheffield because the travel's not too hard. It's really a better play. It's just uh you'd be stuck in the hotel. <laughs> yeah. That'd be awful. We're gonna have to get a place real close. Okay, I'm conceding just because we're literally next door. Okay. We're literally next door. Yeah. It's fine. But I'm just hoping that I could walk to the venue rather than need someone to help me with my bag and. Mm crotch around everywhere and be uncomfortable every time I sit down for another round, you know. What even, what even is a fortnight? <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. What's this Hearthstone game? I've never heard of it. League of what? League of who? We're the only League of Legends around it. 
holiday before Sheffield, says Luke. I know you're keen. I have more holiday hours now. Mm. So I just gained back a week. So And we'll your see. leg is definitely out straight on a sun lounger. Yeah, that's true. I can't be on one of those anyway. I'd be inside regardless because it's a hot country. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm planning on playing Silver on hitting four Malamar zero and dropping so I can look after you, Joe. A great guy. <laughs> oh, he's already on the Sylveon. <laughs> Me and him have already been chatting. I'm, I'm speaking to him this week about why it's the play for Sheffield. Of course you are. Of course you are. Why wouldn't you be? <laughs> I need to get out of my system. Yeah. So... Max is there to persuade me that it's the play so I can work out what beats it. Look how chuffed Luke is. He's rubbing his hands together right now. I can actually physically see him rubbing his hands together. <laughs> Through the screen. That's what's making the fire emoji. <laughs> Friction. Burns. <laughs> 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 oh, <God. laughs> okay. He could not be more keen for a, a Pokemon people holiday that's not around a Pokemon event. That's really been something that he's wanted to do for a long time. For about four years. But Pokemon people normally spend their holidays going to Pokemon Playing events. Po so Luke's always a sad panda. <laughs> That's a plan right there, Max. That is premeditated, and you're gonna have a blast. Chips and gravy. Is there anything more to life? Jack, when you hit three and across the decks with Sylvia, I'm still really <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Liquor. Now, I don't think I will play it. I, I, I haven't tested much, but I've seen like three or four archetypes that I really like the look of that aren't Sylveon post Forbidden Light. Um, may not be better than Sylveon, but they're ones I want to I wanna really try and put time into because they seem very strong. At worst, we'll sign your leg at Sheffield. My, it's not like a full cast, so it doesn't even work. Oh, well you just be signing That's... my actual leg. <laughs> <laughs> Tattooing your leg. Yeah. Well, let's oh, see what so... this dog trio is made of. Huh? Less than two months away. Is one of them the one we discussed, Jack? I'm trying to think about the other decks we've discussed. Oh, I know the one we've discussed. I've actually got a message you about that. Because <laughs> I've played it. I've, I've played it. And it it's interesting. Oh, is it... Uh, the one I played yesterday one... that James sent you a picture yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Had it before. Bad? It was good. It was all. It was all. I, to be fair, like, the deck's bad. But I, lo I threw both the games I could have won. <laughs> Because I was just so tilted that I'd end up playing the deck. Why are you tilted? Because I wanted to play Buzzrock. Um, or Buzz... I think I wanted to play Buzzgarb, actually. But James was like, can I borrow your Buzz Walls? Uh, so I let him, because he did well this weekend. And then really regretted letting him. Right. Because it meant I played a bad deck. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. But it was a lot of fun. Like, I, I don't think I've had more fun playing Pokemon since... I last played that deck. <laughs> it's insanely fun. What a deck. It's just awful. What a deck that is. You're all... You told me the deck was OP, Jack. Well, it's, OP <laughs> next... it's OP next format. Yeah, why were you testing it in current format? That's just weird. What did you test against? <laughs> Uh, it was it was like the it was just just, just this little like five pound entry tournament, so it was only three rounds. Um... <laughs> What did you face? Zoro Rock, which I beat. 
Good Zoro job. Pod, which I drew dead against because the deck's bad, and Buzz Rock. I miscalc damage and threw the game. Unreal. Basically, Malamar is the only threat to Sylveon. Malamar does seem like a bit of an issue. Is it best to just attack with the Mew here? Makes him so You're likely to respond. Huh. So we could attack with the Bulu. That's not happening. Could attack with the Lele. Lele or the Mew here. I think the Mew is fine. That deck will probably be one of the most popular decks this year. Yeah, I think... Well, it depends how it tests. The first three or four games I had with it, it felt a lot, uh, a lot more manageable to beat. But I think it's going to be. I think Malamar is going to be very good in some way, shape, or form, even if it's not with Ultra Necrozma. My build, yeah, you Your know. Your build does look fun. <laughs> I was going to build it the other day, but I was like, I don't even know. I have no idea how to build this deck. Also, Jack. Sandra has made a crazy Sylvanus is spiriting garb, Marshall or Gory and Legend your treasure so show this spy. Oh good lord. Get me involved. I'm always up for Sylvie on chat. Even if I don't play it. I'm always up to talk about it. As all said it's super overrated. Maybe. But maybe not. <laughs> I think it I don't know. Eels is so good. Eels was so good. Mm -hmm. Like it saw play throughout its lifetime. So I think you have to look at that when looking at Malamar. Bronzong not so much, but Bronzong didn't or didn't have as good of attackers that um, Eels and and Bronzong was in a item lock fiesta format. Yeah, that's true as well. I can see people thinking Ultra Necrozma is overrated. I can understand that more. I still think it's good, but I can understand it's. People think it's overrated as well. The deck just does, the Pokemon just does so much damage though. You can't you can't ignore that. Damage is damage. That's the damage thing. takes prizes and wins games. Why do people bother so much to build the perfect tier three deck? I mean, it's better than being a bad tier three deck. If you're going to play a tier three deck, it might as well be the perfect list. That is great logic. Flawless. No, I think my Sylveon days are done. There's too much thinking. Someone clip that. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Sheffield Regionals, here we go. Heavy breathing. But I thought drawing cards wins games. No, Jack, don't say that, I'll cry. I'll play it for cups again, but I don't think I could play it for a big tournament again. He's lying to your faces. <laughs> <laughs> Liar. I know you, people have said it still seems like a good... I've got two months to convince you. <laughs> Interesting. I need to check. Um, I need to check this. Okay, Joe does have it on our list. Oh no, what is it? What now? <laughs> oh, we need to divide up. We could divide them up live. Oh, We could. I Did you see my first message? So I've already picked I know you picked one. your first one, yeah, yeah. And I also can't build one of them, but I'm assuming it's one you'd want anyway. So... Oh, I didn't, I didn't see which one you can't build. Oh, I can't. 
Can I say? Oh, I know which one. I do know. Okay. The one that I, I want to build anyway, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think you're not going to want to build the other trash tier one. Okay, cool, cool. So it kind of works out. Trash tier five, right? Oh, right. I see what you mean. You don't mean tier one. You mean the trash tier. The one that I mean, is trash tier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> the genuine deck that I just think is a bit of a meme. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's fine. They, they can be our last two picks. Yeah, yeah, I assumed it kind of worked out that way anyway. I think I have proxies for everything else, so. We could also ask if there's any other decks that people want to see as well. True. Because actually we're on an odd number right now. Oh, are we? Okay. Yeah. Do you want to do that after this game? Hell yeah. After you've lost to a London Dead Trio. See you later. Metagross here. Hey now. Metagross was good ones. Two of the decks we're drafting may not even be good ones. Guys, Vikabu destroys tier 5 decks. Like... <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Ever worried about a Lowland Dog Trio? Play Vikabulu. Destruction. How dare you call Joe's Pyro a meme? Right. Okay. Let's move on from Bulu era to the Omnipoke General page. Literally, my favourite website in the world. It's not it's really a website, is it? Do people know about this? I don't know if they do. Let's... We probably shouldn't show them all of it. We should probably just show them a little bit. No, we... I'll show him. Well, I'll show him. <laughs> Kirkham's been banned. Why has Kirkham been banned? Oh, he was spamming dots accidentally. Xerneas Break. That's on the list. We got all sorts here, boys. Look at look at all this. Video preparation. That's always empty. Uh, there's the questions that I ask. To do list. That's not changed for a long time. Probabilities. That's still, a good one. Still, have to get good at the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Jack's written his own uh, playable cards. Here we go. Forbidden Light Meta. Oh yes. Oh. To the Omni page. <laughs> this is the one we want, isn't it? Oh yes. Okay. Forbidden Light Meta. Here we go. New archetypes. So, before a new set comes out, we always write down the archetypes that we want to do, like the brand new archetypes from a set that we want to discuss uh, for the channel, make videos of. And we always do uh, a back and forth on choosing decks. I flipped a coin earlier at work, and Jack won the coin flip. <laughs> He's won the last three coin flips on me. Yes, I have. Which is really annoying. <laughs> Yeah, so he got first pick, and his first pick was Rails. I mean, Ultra across my mouth, I'm sorry. So, if you guys are looking at any of these, uh, you can uh, you can let me know what to add, what we need to add, if there is anything <laughs> that we need to add. Still waiting on an XL emote. Maybe that'll have to be our next emote. It's a big X. <laughs> an XL. Okay, so it's my vote. Oh my goodness. What do I want from this? What don't you want? Let's be honest. What do I think is the next best deck? Hmm. That's a, that's a very good question. I think there's three potential. Three potentials there. It could be the next best. It's also not necessarily next best that we want to record. It's ones that we feel would get good attention early on to get out there. Some Greninja Glaceon. We can write that down. I don't see why not. There's some synergy there. What is Aquabox? Aquabox is Oops. Lapras. Um, it's basically like old Aquabox with Lapras and um, Volk Prison Star now. Volk Prison Star is the big. And Wake. Oh, yeah, Wake as well. There's another big card for it. Is Lucaro dead because of Malamar? I don't think it's dead, dead. Luke, I've got Zonia's break up here. Look, we've new inclusions. Xerneas GX Don't and worry. Don't you worry. Don't worry. Xerneas GX is its own deck. I told you about this deck, Luke. I told you about this deck. Is Lucario dead because of Malamar? Maybe I don't think dead, dead. not. <laughs> I mean, the main attackers in Malamar aren't psychic. I mean, yeah. they play psychic Pokemon, but normally it's like the stand-in Lunala 
which yeah. is weak to dark. So if you're playing Zoro Lucario, it's still okay. Mm. But anyway. Right, what do I want? I'm no. just going to go ahead and take Beast Box. Because I think that will be one that will profile Quick Sharp. Mm -hmm. um, I'll take Zygarde. What a pick. Azul's hosting us for 52 oh, deals. Oh, wow. Azul, that is awesome. Cheers, what a legend. Dude. Thank you very much. Seb, wow. Big statement. Most overrated deck in recent history. I mean, every set there's cards that get rated in a strange light. We'll actually, we'll be looking at our set review in a moment and look at some overrated mm. garbage. Um, but yeah, I, I've not tested the deck yet, but in theory, I think it's going to be powerful. Possibly not tier one. It still has its weaknesses, but uh, mm. it feels like a solid tier two. If Vikabulu is like a solid tier two right now, then Malamar has to be a solid tier two. It's a stage one Vikabulu. Yeah. Kind of. Sort of. Okay. Me. Me, me, me. Hmm. I'm already out of decks that I want to do. I'll just take Necrozma Wob Malamar. I think that makes sense. Get that in the bag. Um, do you want to put our names next to Pyro and Tyrantrum as well? New Wish Wish in the set? No, it's not. It's in the August set. Um, mm -hmm. am, <laughs> am I taking Mega Guardi? Ooh. Or am I taking Xerneas Or am I taking Greninja Buzzwall? Yeah, and that's uh I think I'll take Greninja Buzzwall. It's Landy Bats Jack, it's your favourite. Yeah. New there's so many there's so many good decks that I've played in the past <laughs> on this list. It's insane. Just the new coat of paint. And some much worse paint, like that, like that sort of tacky <laughs> paint, you know. Why do I see Tyrantrum? Because <laughs> every set we have to have some fun as well as talking about Jack obvious made good. Me put it on sets. there. And Tyrantrum is a lot of fun. Um, I'm gonna go for Zoro Buzzwall because yes. it gets B string, and you draw so many cards that you can have it on the right turn. Yes, and that sounds good. B string is. Um... Why is Mega Guardian on the list? Because it's a fairy psychic type. Guess all what that is for you. All in one package. So you tick a lot of boxes with that typing. And Dark Resist, even. Let's go with. <laughs> Luke wants to do one of these as well. I feel like there'd be a few more lines. <laughs> <laughs> um. Why does a dark red Guzzlord B string? I completely forgot that Guzzlord could get B string. That's hilarious. You'll always have procs because of the amount of dark energies that you'll play as well. I'll take that's Mega Guardi. Yeah, I think that's a natural time to take it, really. Um, Now, in my head, Zora Ninja is just worse than Decidueye Zora Arc. But the upside of Zora Ninja is that I get to profile Zoro Ninja <laughs> and it does have ability lock so I guess I'll take that as my next pick and it's a Zorark deck so how bad could it be so we've both got a Greninja deck now we have okay I'm trying to also kind of balance them so we're not all one person doing yeah. Greninja decks or whatever yeah face palm so hard with Mega Guardi well if you guys remember from like a year ago me and Jack played a lot of Mega Guardi. Like a lot I think of it. I think between us, it's the most successful deck we've played. Oh yeah, between us for sure. It's got us a lot of points. I think it's both our highest placement deck. Yeah. 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 We did enjoy that deck. Um, Jack, Luke wants to do Aquabox. Uh, I want to do Aquabox. 
That's good, because I don't. Chad him around. I'll, take... I'll shout you out if I make a Gus Lord deck. <laughs> I'll take Xerneas. Okay. Xerneas. Then I will take Aquabox right now. Do you want Turbo Psychic, which is basically Turbo Metal, but you're playing the Psychic stuff instead. Like Incredible. The new Ultra Necrozma and stuff like that. Incredible. Prism Lunar. That feels quite similar to... I mean, I'll yeah, take... go on. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. Okay. We haven't even profiled Turbo Metals yet. I've been meaning to this week, but we'll get around to it. There you go. That's what you can expect to come onto the channel in the next two to three weeks. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, um, yes. Unreal. And, uh-oh. Uh <laughs> approves. Get out of here, Jack. He, he approves. Right. Little Jimmy approves. And we've got a quick little intro into the other decks and what they gain and lose and stuff. We need to... Um, yeah. We've just done a real brief thing of what they gain, but we haven't thought about how what these they, yeah. new decks um, affect their affect placement. They do. So, you know, we always do the uh, we always do the sort of like impact of videos, and uh, we still need to do sort of that section to see what's yeah. what. There's uh, a little little behind the scenes for you. There you go. We think about things. Hmm. A, a bit. We, we we try. Right, let me uh jump over to the U tubs. Wait, do I even need U tubs? Let's go to PowerPoint Wait, presentation. A, a PowerPoint ready to go. We've been light set review. I've only gone and got it. Barbecue. <laughs> There's been a single ray of sunshine, and suddenly everyone's everyone's <laughs> in bikinis barbecuing. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Party rings on the cheap. Perfect night for a barbecue. <laughs> Party rings on the cheap. Get the Barbie on. Let's go. Stick it on. Right, what's going on here? PowerPoint taking a zillion years to load. It's stuck on 33%. Oh my god. Oh, no. I don't believe it. Oh, no. uh, probably trying to save us more pain. Guys, do you really want me to load right now? How's the leg doing? The leg's pretty bad. Barbecue Still there, but bikinis. Ah! It's alive. 95 viewers, hello everyone. Yeah, welcome everyone. Thanks for joining us. Yes, today we will be having fun reviewing our set review. No, not a forbidden light. Damn it, I've opened the wrong one. Give me a sec. <laughs> We've just done let's that see one. How we, let's see how we did. 24 hours ago, we rated this five stars. We still think it's five stars. <laughs> Next. This is, this is where you get to say one out of five we've are. I think... Did we even... Wait. There were, I remember there was a... Uh... There's a video where we didn't even discuss a card, and then it ended up like doing well in a tournament. I can't remember what it was. We, we definitely gonna say we definitely discussed we are. Yeah, I think it was there was stuff like um, I remember us we didn't talk about Gorgeist once, and I think there was another like one or two cards that we didn't even talk about. Um, that there was some fear because there was murmurs of it uh, popping up and doing <laughs> things. Okay, so here we are, Ultra Prism. Order Save pad. Sorry, I'm just reading it. Yeah. Good so 500 coins, which deck should you... The Garchomp deck is probably the best one to pick. Mm -hmm. Next. Anyway, oh, order pad. Can I... Oh, very good. I figured something out here, boys. Okay. Just so I can read comments now. Order pad. We gave 2 out of 5. Still yet to see much play in standard. I know Azul's tested it with, like, Vikabulu and stuff like that. Uh, it, it had a bit of a shining moment in uh, Expanded, where it's been played with um, the Archie Maxi deck with Gyarados Gallade, and also the Gallade Aerodactyl deck and some other combo decks. So I'm pretty sure we were right at the time by saying that 
right now there is no item draw at all in standard. Mm. Um, so to make like a turbo engine, this guy is pretty much on his own right now. But he, you know, we've seen it do well enough in expanded at, as part of a big turbo engine. So it's still like the makings of a of a card that could do well. So I think we're still pretty right on this. Let me. Uh... He's experimentation, but not amazing. I think that's fine. Yeah. So combo piece. In a land without combos. Palpad began with three. Um, definitely underperformed from what we've originally thought how it would do. Um, some people were touting it to be like a straight up replacement for VS Seeker, which we never went on. But surprising how little this has actually seen play, I think. It's one of those things, I think, in the first month of people playing Palpad, people were like cutting their fourth Guzma, putting this yeah. in, and everyone's hunky dory about it but now i feel like everyone's just gone straight back to cosmo physical support accounts yeah. <laughs> mark do you like that do you like that uh click baity little box in the bottom right corner <laughs> <laughs> yeah it looks like it's not the right answer and from te- from playing in tournaments with palpad it's a super weird card to play and i feel it's a really hard card to play well um, because there are lots of times when you want to be digging for stuff and you don't want to be drawing supporters, but you want to be su- uh, drawing supporters later on. So it's a really weird balance where you hurt your outs to hit things now to increase your outs of hitting things later, and it's a really weird juggling thing. So, yeah. Okay. This is probably two stars on reflection because it's all experimentation, but it's... Mm-hmm. Fossils, still terrible. Missing Clover. Yeah, terrible. Lucas Whistle. Who <laughs> gave it a generous two. That's, that's a... That's <laughs> Didn't an see easy, experimentation. That's an easy zero. <laughs> that's a zero, that is. Uh, fun fact, it was literally just after... Uh, Australia, right, when the cards came out on PTCGO. So after I didn't make day two in Australia, the first deck I tested was actually Look a Lock and it was it was bad. <laughs> it was it was really bad. I was literally at the point where I was like, how could this day get any worse? And then Look a Lock was terrible and I was like, No <laughs> Not my day. My dreams. Okay. A skateboard obviously not seen play. But in the vacuum that it is, it's a two star. And when floats don't rotate, it could like right now. What do we have? We have like warp energy, this, and like just physical switches. So it will eventually show itself to be a good card. For yeah. now, though. For now, though, it's still just a one. It's like a binder card at the moment. Yep. Coronet three stars. I think that's still. Relatively fair. Yeah, I think that's fair. It sees play in a couple of tier 2 slash 3 decks. Mm-hmm. And is an important card in those decks as well. Yeah, definitely important piece. And it's got so... the same the same thing as Brooklyn Hill has, that you get sometimes like double the value of the same card yeah. that is energy retrieval. So still a very powerful card, Coronet. Cyrus Prism, I remember we got slated for saying this was bad, and... It is really bad. It's so, bad. So we were good, we ra- good on that I'm, one. I'm, beh- I'm behind. What do we rate it? One star. Okay. We were nice and brave, and sometimes bravery pays off, and sometimes <laughs> it fails spectacularly. But we are right on this occasion. Gardenia, one star. That's fine. Uh, I think Luke could argue it was in his Vika... No, Laurentis Bulu list. It was in the... I think he even cut it, so there you go. He should have cut it. There was definitely better cards. Mars, we gave a 3 out of 5. Um, that was when Wishy Walls and Quad Hooper were working. And because Oranguru came out in the same set, Mill then became attacking Hooper and Sylveon. So, mm. because Sylveon can KO Orangaroos. So, at the time, Mill was doing good. So, this was a good card and is a good card for Mill. 
it's just that nil is enough on the radar for people to actually counter it. So that's why Mars isn't seeing play. But if Mills... I think this is like one point, like one point between one and two stars, because Mill Mill is still enough of an archetype for it to be two stars, but it's not all was in Mill. Yeah, it's not always in Mill, but if the literally just do nothing walls decks were still there, um, Mars would be a three out of five because it's a insta include. I think in the sort of do nothing lists. Yeah, just... Mill decks are just different. They're more mm-hmm. proactive rather than reactive now. Just how you've seen how important Beach is for Well Lord, Mars would be the same standard thing if we had a do nothing dot deck. So. I still believe the card to be powerful, it's just not when Oranga is in format, so it, you can see why we misfired on this card, uh, but the card did serve the purpose that we were going for, really, there. But, I still yeah. think, I still, I still say it's probably a two-star, maybe. Yeah, maybe still a two. Alright, Cynthia, 5 out of 5, I think that's fully justified. I think it's overtaking yeah. Sycamore in a lot of cases already. Mm. Um, but it's definitely been made space for, for sure. Faulkner, one out of five. Yes, correct. Look, oh, we gave the generous two, and uh, we do regret that. <laughs> Very much so. Turns out it's actually worse than how. Unit energies. Uh, we've yet to see much been done with these so far. But they're these sorts of cards that are just there that accompany Rainbow if we're going to make a random deck. Like if you're going to play um, the new Ultra Necrozma, for example. Something, yeah. something like the Metal Psychic uh, Unit Energy could be considered. Something like that. This yeah. is just your ultimate like 3 out of 5 card because... It's always going to have potential while it's yeah. in format. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it only ever like goes alongside rainbows, and there is a lot of special hate right now, so there's a reason to not think about these cards rather than just playing full basics. But when you look back at like Plasma, when they played like rainbows, prisms, no, not prisms, um, rainbows, plasma energies, yeah, it was prism energies. It played like just 12 special energy. If ever there's those sorts of decks where you play multiple attacking style dudes then these are definitely worth considering so these are like ultimate fence sitter cards i don't think there's any other way you can rate these super boost we gave a three jack why why did we do this <laughs> jack no that's embarrassing that is quite embarrassing <laughs> that's absolutely mm. embarrassing i think the main reason we rated this card so highly was because we were wrong about leafy on decidueye that's the only just uh justification i can give you guys that's because we thought that the leafy on decidueye was potentially a card and this was a card that goes in that deck um i remember us actively saying it was bad in guardian metagross and uh okay in garchomp because you had lucario to search it out but still quite bad so i think the only reason this got more than like a one was because we believed in leafy on decidueye which is incorrect so it's weird how one decision can then turn other decisions way make them look way worse but yeah mm. that's uh that was why we were putting that so high but leafion was many people's like top three cards of the set so i don't think we we're alone in that mistake to be fair I think to it's us still, still got potential anyway mm, maybe at some point, like the GX stack is so strong, it's got it's definitely gonna see something, I'm sure. Trim, but that's that's Leafy on, that's not sucks. Leafy on, we did give a four out of five, and I remember me and Jack discussing a long time whether this is actually a potential five because we thought potentially it was splashable enough to be in multiple decks, as you're seeing here. Uh, turns out didn't succeed in any of them. Um, there's just some issues with, first of all, going first is a problem because you sacrifice your turn to attack, which if you're playing any Zoroark deck could be at least 120 damage. Or if you're playing any other deck, like if you're just playing like Galissapod, for example, you could just be hitting 120 or more. And instead, you're sacrificing that just to evolve stuff. Um, 
So it's a good card going second, but even if you go second, you need to bridge it and sometimes also need to find floatstone energy. That's a pretty perfect hand. And another one of the awkward things was we had to play like a high bridge count and a high grass energy count. So the deck was just cluttered. To make gram to sort of cash in on Grand Bloom as much as possible, you have to clutter your deck a little bit too much. Which um I guess we didn't really factor in as much. Um and also I mean parallel is just everywhere, so there's no point building up four stage twos if you could just get them all taken off anyway, really. I don't know. Lots of reasons why this isn't fabulous. <laughs> yeah. Take this down to a one, Jack, or a two? Two. Do you think there's still a chance for it? I mean, is there it's, any... It's, is there going to be a better... See experimentation. Is there I, in be... my mind, two stars, see experimentation... And like make up a, a bad deck. This is this makes up a bad like Cherim is just bad. It hasn't seen play. It's a one star. Mm. But Leafion has seen play. <sighs> it's not great, but it, like it's it's, it's seen experimentation. Mm. I think that's what defines a, defines a two star card for me. Okay, okay. Is there ever a time like if it's if not Decidueye, what what better card could they print to go alongside this card? That's my only fear. I think it's hard to say. I don't think... Like, I know they rinse and repeat a lot of effects, but they also come up with a lot of new effects, and, there's, and there could be some new effect that we haven't even thought about. I don't think it's... I don't think it's yeah. an easy question to answer to say what's better than Decidueye, theoretically, because theoretically they could print Decidueye that does three counters instead of two. They won't, but theoretically they could. Yeah. I think uh, Tommy Roberts keeps us from... Putting this to a one star, so thanks, Tommy. Same, same with Super Boost. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Infernape sucks. Salazzle sucks. Low and Sand Slash sucks. Empoleon 2 is probably fair. I mean, again, this is a card that we got a lot of stick for. I think if you look oh, at comments, this, this so is the card we got. For we got absolutely annihilated for putting Empoleon at 2. <laughs> And now it's like two is on the generous side of things. So again, we're we're pretty good on this one at least. This card is bad. Yeah, we got it right. Abomasto sucks. Glacial we put four out of five. Um, so it's, it's probably three. It's proven it's worth in expanded a little bit. I mean, it wasn't really played in Stuttgart, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that it flopped Stuttgart. It just didn't show up in Stuttgart. It showed up in uh, America and did well in their regionals. I think there's been experimentation with Zoro Glaceon. Oh, Dougie, three hundred five. Thanks for the follow. Um, I think right now the format's too open for something like Glaceon Zoroark to work because Glaceon Zoroark is trying to just prey on other Zoroarks, but the format's too open right now. I think for that deck because it's a little bit tighter than other Zoroarks, and it's a little bit more fragile. You have, you're a little bit more awkward against the fighting stuff. You're a little bit more yeah. awkward, like you have a bad frogs. You have this, that, and the other, which you just can't deal with quite as well. Like even stuff like Vikabulu is like a consideration at this point because you don't have the space for like parallels and stuff. So I think it's a, I think it's a three in my my eyes. It's done well and expanded, but it didn't uh -huh. it didn't see play in Stuttgart, so you kind of can't count that so it has seen good play a, a, a good success rate in uh, expanded but it's not been as impactful in standard so like in, in standard it's a two star mm. in expanded it's a four star so i'd say it's three star overall i yeah. think i think that's pretty fair oh no <laughs> uh there's just things that you just completely forget existed and this is one of those cards that we oh, just know <laughs> i don't know what this is yet oh no <laughs> Oh, this is a one-star card. Oh, we believed, man. We believed in item lock. That's a that's a mistake. It turns out that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> so Glacion's a three, despite making top eight in standard. Expanded, but even gets a two for no play at all. Mm. At all. 
I mean, I think there's a I think there's a big difference between a two star card and a three star card. A two star card is bad. A three star card is good. Hmm. Maybe. I mean, maybe Glaceon's still fine as a four just for future potential and the fact of its own like inherent power level. I mean, I can I, I could see an argument for it being a four. It seems like a generous four. Mm. This is terrible, though. Like, actually terrible. Mm. This is one. Uh, this didn't even see experimentation. We were... So binders. So, so respectful of item lock. Way too respectful of item lock, really. Das Pascal is now following. Maybe we should have uh, seen Neuvern as the... Uh, Mm, yeah, the hint. That... Yeah. Uh, Angro they... Darius, thanks so much for the follow. That's awesome. Pachirisu, we gave a three out of five. We believed. We believed. Uh, this is definitely a two. This is a two. Uh, easy two. Easiest two of easydom. Um, unfortunately, fighting is everywhere, and so is Parallel City. And those are two very bad things for the Snuggly deck. Unfortunately. Drifblim, fair one. Giratina Prison, we gave a two. Uh, I think it's more on... It was more on future potential. More on I future potential, and maybe even in uh, the new Psychic box that we try and build, maybe that's a card for this deck. I think also it's one of these things where we don't have Versus Seeker anymore, so we can't really Ninja Boy this or anything cool like that. We don't have any... Very good energy moving cards right now. But I think it's a reasonable two. Mm -hmm. Lunali we gave a two. This will be soon to go higher, I think. Its stock will rise because of uh, potential Malamar decks and even maybe a Turbo Psychic variant. So this could even be pushed in future. But that's one of those things where we don't know the future cards when we're making these things. And I think two is generous for how much play it's seen like up to now. It's seen like no play up to now. Yeah, this is a two based on future potential. It's a one star oh. card. It was a one star card on release, but we pushed it up to a two just because four moon star is such a strong attack. Yeah. Cool. Potentially it stops rising. Dawn Wings, we gave a 3 out of 5. I think that was on the bolder side of things, and I think we're pretty right on that. It's seen play in the Volk decks so far. Um, that's really it right now. Maybe 3 is a little generous, but it will be seeing a lot more play now. Mm. Now that we've got more Ultra Beast support and even Beast String Synergy. Like, the card gains a lot from the new set, which obviously we didn't know, but... Um, Seen play in the Kiawe deck to reasonable success. Didn't see play in Boswell or Glissopod just because Glissopod's still being played as Zoroark and Boswell's just fine on its own. Bench space is actually really tight for Boswell as well, to be fair. That, yes. You always want to have a Rock Ruff or Reggie Rock instead, so. Mm. Three may be generous, but it's coming more in alignment with a three, maybe even higher, depending on how good the Malamar decks slash beast was, box gets. It was a very good attacker when we were playing yesterday. Yeah. It was a very good attacker. Yeah. And uh, don't underestimate that Beast Ring's really good with this card as well. So. Mm -hmm. Rampados, we gave a one. Yes. <laughs> yes, obviously yes. Lucario, yeah. we gave a three. <laughs> A uh, little bit on the generous side. We were hoping that the... Uh, or we were expecting this deck to be... Obviously below tier 1, because we only rated it a 3, rather than higher. But it's definitely not... Like, is it harsh to give it a 2 when it's had like some top 64s and stuff here and there? Probably not even harsh, so... It's like, yeah, it's like the top of 2. <laughs> Maybe towards the top of 2, yeah. And we're getting the new Fighting Garchomp, which is something. Not great, but something. Persimian. Man, we get this a two, but the amount of play it's got, it could be even higher. Um, this hasn't seen more play than Lucario. <laughs> hasn't it? Man, Surely not. Persimian's I don't, I don't in like, know. 
Persimmons well, in like assuming, a, no. every cup I've seen. There's always like a random Persimmon in the top eight of a cup. Like all the time. If you gave Glaceon a three, it has to be two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just trying. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. more so. We're more so discussing why we gave it that rating at the time. But yeah, it's, it's obviously a push down. Simeon may have to push it up to a three, which is insane. Maybe two is fine though, because I mean it's it's a moving piece in a what tier three deck. Yeah, might be a four. Fours. Simeon is as good as Glaceon. I mean, I guess you could argue this based on the amount of players got two or three, but I think just you really have to question why people are playing for Simeon. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. Oh, let's move on. Let's move. Why are we still right talking ahead. about this card? No, Jack. I, oh no. Let's move on. Let's move on. So we didn't read the second attack. We thought it just had one attack, icy wind, um, and that's not a very good, very good attack. So that's why we rated it one star. We didn't actually see the. The other attack. Obviously, if we'd seen the other attack, we would have rated it much higher. Where do you even rate this now? It's had one excellent tournament. Since then, what's it done? Um, what's it done? Very little. Was it just a surprise factor tournament? And now it's... You know, uh... to... Tier three? I don't know. Zorai Dex. Zora Dex has to be tier two, but like it doesn't feel like the top choice it doesn't feel like the top three choice of a Zoroark deck right now for me, I don't think. Maybe my third choice. So as bad as this looks, guys. <laughs> where do you it's even probably put it now? Yeah, I it's mean It's probably three. a three. Yeah, I'm not trying to justify a one. It feels like a three, but let's be fair. Will we see much more Weavile Zoroark again? I think so. Yeah? I think so. I Evil mean, Admission is a strong attack. One of the biggest things was it was before many Zoropod players were playing Parallel. It was only like the best Zoropod players playing Parallel. It was only like Benji Pham, Pedro, Tord. They were the only ones playing Parallel at the time. Every other Zoropod wasn't playing it. So you can see how it sort of carved through those Zorok variants. And it was also in a tournament where Ultra Prism was just released. So people were trying out all sorts of wacky lists. Like Magnazone decks were actually like... Over ten percent, I think, of the meta in on the day. Yeah, yeah they were. I, I'm almost certain they were. Elfec, thanks so much for following. Um, so, yeah, like it just was a perfect deck for the tournament, as we saw. Two of them made the final. That's a pretty good point as well. If I recall correctly, you both rated it low because players can play around its output, which players have been since its success. That's also very true. It saw play people were made aware of it and then people see a weavile see, see what we are doing well and know mm -hmm. to put, not pull the trigger on abilities immediately until they know they're not playing against weavile and stuff like that so as bad as this one out of five looks <laughs> the reason why we rated it the way we rated it is still the correct line of thinking we were probably just too drastic at the end of the day and it's and it's and, and it's how people have played it yes so i think it's I think it's a three-star card. Cool. Oh, Adam ripped us for it. Yeah, of course. I mean, he won lots of money from it. <laughs> and is in top 16 now, so... Or at least yeah. top 22, so fair play. Darkrai. We, we got a cheeky Guzzlord on the screen, boys. We found a way to get a Guzzlord on the, on the screen. Uh, two out of five... Turbo Dark hasn't been doing much at all, obviously. Even in Expanded, its time has passed, really. Um, mm -hmm. 
this is similar to the Gratina, where it's just got the raw potential of bur- energy like bursting onto the board, but right now it's just binder card. Magnazone, we gave a four out of five. Um, based on stats, Magnazone is like tier three, maybe lower than tier three. Um, struggles with stage two jank. Struggles with frogs. Struggles with. Garb. That turbo metals is better. Garb is back on the uptick. Pre Ultra Prism, Garb was on the lowest, really. Yeah. So going into this format, Garbodor was no one, really. Garbodor wasn't a bloke. So. Um, there's some reason to see why we're optimistic for this set. Uh, for this card, exactly, Mark. That's why we. Uh, that's why he rated it so highly. Taking two turns, that payoff, that game-winning payoff. It goes down to two out of five. I think it's a two out of five. Feels like a bit of a two right there. It's a shame. Mm-hmm. We had the warning from the lightning one. We were just lured in by some juicy metal cards from this set. Some better attackers. Bastiodon gets the casual one. Solgaleo Prism gave him a four. I think that's fully justified. I think that's definitely fair. Fully justified. It's a very high power level card. It's made Turbo Metal's uh, more successful metal variant than the Magnazone list. Um, and its power level is just so crazy over the curve. When it's when you actually play it in standard, you see how much work a single card puts in, and it's oops, and it's actually crazy. It's actually crazy how much this can put in. So, yeah, good, good, solid four. Duskmane, we gave a five, um, which is on the generous side for sure. I mean, if we're giving the Prism mm-hmm. Star four, we have to get we have to get this four or lower. I can understand why we did, because we thought Turbo Metals was going to be a good archetype, and it was. Yeah. We thought Magnezone was going to be a good archetype, and it wasn't, but it was going to be the main attacker in two what we thought were going to be good archetypes that also won the other arc. Yeah. So That's I can true. see why we gave it a five. On reflection, it's probably a four. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I still think it's a fine four-star card. Um... Oh, look, I believed. I wanted Silver Ally to come back. Look how... Oh, I was desperate. I think another thing we need to potentially look at in future is having two different... Or having a kind of different rating system for trainers and Pokemon because they're very different cards and it's really yeah. difficult for us to rate them the same. It's The most difficult part when we're rating cards is we always rate the Pokemon first and then rate the trainers. And it's always so difficult rating the tra- rating the good trainers in comparison to good Pokemon. Yeah. Because a good trainer like Cynthia is a five-star card that we'll see de- play in every deck. Mm-hmm. But a good attacker like won't see play in every deck, obviously. It like, basically, Zoroark is yeah. a five-star card because it's in multiple archetypes. Yeah. But it's it's hard to compare trainers to mm-hmm. Pokemon. So it's something that we, we need to look at is the rating system it's, and yeah. how it translates from one to the other. Yeah. Basically, to give... A Pokemon a five star card, it has to be the front man of a top tier archetype, is basically what we're saying. Like it has to be a key yeah. component of a top tier archetype. So that's kind of we what we're saying. Crosma, we rated Ultra and Crosma five stars, I think. Did we? Yeah. Pretty sure we did. Because yeah. Yeah. it's it's the front runner of Necrozma Malamar, which seems like a very good deck, but it's not as strong as Cynthia, which is seeing play in yeah. multiple counts in every deck. So it's like having only a five star rating actually really really restricts us. Yeah. Um, so keep that in mind when you see these numbers. And Ultra Necrozma could be the Turbo Psychic deck, which is the same thing as the Dosmo Necrozma, basically. <laughs> yes. That's what we're trying to say. Oh, Dialga, four star card in our books. Well, I mean, he does carry that archetype. Carries it all the way down to tier three, unfortunately. Maybe even two star card, two glamorous, glorious, two super fun. I mean, think how much worse the archetype would be without him, right? 
Just think of that for a start. In that deck, exactly, it's probably a better attacker than Aroma. It's such a good card in the deck. It's just how bad the deck is. Sad face. Two turns, um, boys. Two turns. Ugh. Joe Mega Little Believes. <laughs> two turns. Two, two turns. turns. Bro. I took some pretty dirty two turns in Malmo with the card, to be fair. <sighs> it's just a but game changer when it comes off, you know? It's just the when it comes off part that's so soul crushing. Sadness. Garchomp, similar to Lucario, got to push this down a little bit. Mainly because of the awkwardness of the deck itself. Um, the awkwardness of your support accounts. Just lots of awkwardness. You can't Sycamore away useless cards. You keep shuffling them back into your deck. Your ability focused, your stage two. All sorts of all sorts of reasons to be sad about this card. Yeah. Easily dropped. You got Palkia, right? Got that one spot on. Guru, we gave a 3 out of 5. And you can see on the screen that we sort of had this whole looker idea to the right of the screen, which didn't pay off. But on the left of the screen, where we show it's like a Bunnelby, it's like a Sableye on its own. And that's where his role has really shone. He's been phenomenal for just being a resource management guy. And he can even use his confusion attack against attacking Hoopers now. So I think we're pretty spot on on the Guru. Because it's like, it's weird. Again, trying to compare like a one-off tech that can go in multiple decks to a main attacker in a deck. It's really weird to rate this card. Like, it's one of these things where um, they serve completely different roles as Pokemon. But yeah. this is, uh, I mean, like the amount of cards amount of times it will be in decks you could argue it's like a four or five star card just for what it can provide but it's yeah. it's you know it's a tech option for a bad matchup that can fix things i'm gonna say it's a one-off in a few archetypes but in those archetypes you probably will only use it one in every 10 games sure. for its intended purpose yeah but it's also good sometimes in mirror for zorak mirrors so that's something to note as well Yeah, we'll definitely think about changing our rating system for the next time. We want to. Th one of the things we want to do to make it easier for us to make our ratings right, we want the system to be as good as possible, and as flexible and robust as possible. Basically, that's what we want. So, it makes our job easier if the rating system is more transparent and clear and easy to define. Right? It should, in theory, make it harder for us to make mistakes. <laughs> that's what we want. So, we'll. Uh, Next, by the next time a set review comes and knock in, we'll uh, we may put a thing in the Discord and uh, open it out to have some suggestions. Wassies, we want a Wassy scale. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, initially this was just a straight up steal uh, uh, rating out of five. Maybe we maybe we go beyond. On these. Okay, all the rotums, yeah, suck. And uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. So overall, big blunders include overrating the Magnazone deck, which in turn overrated its sort of gang. Underrating the Weavile, but it's only seen success in one tournament, so maybe not as bad as we actually thought, even though the number looks horrible. Samzilla, thanks so much for the follow. Um, what else did we do? No huge blunders, really. This was a big blunder, the Lux, believing in Luxray. Um, and believing in Leafeon as well. Too much belief going on, guys. So few cards actually end up having a big impact on the meta. It's actually insane. Um, <laughs> but yeah, otherwise, relatively okay. And I think we able, we were able to justify our thought process at the time and why that was wrong or right or slightly on or off. So, yeah. Nice little review review there. Hope yeah. you all had some fun. What I would like, what would be really fun is if um, 
it's always great to obviously like it's funny to look back at our own one and laugh at it and stuff but if you do your own set ratings like at the time like a longer alongside us that would be pretty interesting if people sort of did it alongside ours and then sort of as we go through our one you could compare your one and see where you're at it's i think it's a fun process to go through like uh, it, it's they, fun to make set reviews they did uh, what's the website vicious syndicate did one for hearthstone um hearthstone's latest set and it was like the way they did it where it was a like a community forum where you just put in whether it was one to five mm -hmm. and it just collated a load of results so if i can find out how they did it I'll try and set up kind of a community one for the next set. So, and yeah. I'll stick it in the Discord so you guys can all. That would be so good. So you can all put all your results in, then we'll record, and then we'll compare. So our results aren't based off of your results, if that makes sense. And we'll be able to compare and see where we. Oh, that could be cool. We could have our own rating and then like a uh, a community community rating. rating. Yeah. That's cool. That would be I'll see really if I can good find out how they did videos. it. See if I can find out how they did it. Chat smart. It was using a Google Doc. Yeah. Google is our best friend. Put it on the Omnipoke General. In before community rating of Pyro, <laughs> one out of five. Single tier. Yeah, we could do it for Forbidden Light if we have time to sort to figure it out. Because, I mean, the set's obviously not out yet, so we could still get that done, maybe in time. Let me go to that website and see if they've got a link as to how they did it. It doesn't need to look great. <laughs> But yeah, that would be awesome to do. If we make if we make that a uh, uh, frequent feature, it'd be really fun to get community opinions. How do they do it? Bulu mirror, disgusting. We went second as well. Got it. Create your own. Here we go. Here we go. Go to Google Forms. Oh no, it's over. It's over! This is what happens when Jack's in charge Actually, of technology. Oh boy, okay. I can actually do this right here, right now. Uh, what do I need to do? I need to do this. That retreat is very interesting. I need to find what cards we talked about. Let's go to YouTube. Yeah, I deleted it from the Omnipoke General page. My bad. It's fine. Voodoo Mirror is basically just a game of snakes and ladders. What does that even mean? <laughs> you know what it means. It means kill the liquor bot. Kill it so it's dead. Forbidden light, complete set review. Pause. I don't want to listen to us. You Here we go. So I guess this was their top deck card and they got rid of the Sycamore to give themselves flexibility with Lele so they could get like a candy maybe. Hmm. Weird though. Who rolls better? That's the question. That is the question we're asking here.
oh, this is this is excellent. This is everything I've ever wanted. Oh, I'm definitely doing it. I'm not. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. So getting a V-Fold doesn't matter if we don't have a turn attachment anyway, so we should actually go for Shuffle Draw here. I'm going to Ultra Ball away two cards that don't matter. And then we'll just Lele for N, I think. Three, four, five... Give them one extra card, but... I mean, they're probably going to have initiative, actually, because they'll be, they're likely, more likely to get the first attack on us than we are on them, so let's save our two ends. Sometimes lucky. Forbidden Light Community Set Review. to go this 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 Do we have English scans of the whole whole set yet? I think we do. No. Oh, you want to prompt people with pictures? I think it makes sense. Can you just prompt them with text, maybe the text files? Uh, yes, I might be able to. Beast ball. Mm. Oh, no, I can't. Okay, maybe I can do... I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. Oh, this is going to mean saving a lot of pictures. Okay. <laughs> what cards did we talk about? Whoa. No. Good opportunity to end, so I'm going to try and make it difficult for him to do this. I don't mind pairing up a Vika Vault to attack with because we still have all the choice bands, so we'll. Oh, we definitely talked about Gumi. Mm. <laughs> Get that photo, Jack. It's imperative that you get us that photograph. Imp Did we talk about Judge? No, we didn't. Nah, it's just a reprint, isn't it? Oh, do we talk about this card? Can we agree which version of Bulu is best? Kika Bulu or Order Pad Bulu? Bridget Bulu. Maybe even Sushi Bulu. Maybe. The highest win rate I've had was actually with Sushi Bulu, but that was when Garbador was non existent, so. Is Gardi back with Diantha, Diancy, and Lady? Does Diancy help the deck? Oh, Gallade can hit better nombres. That's delicious. 
180? Yes, please. Uh, I don't think a lady helps. I don't think you ever play lady. Diancy does sound like a cool one of. That maybe pushes us to a two count of Glade. It's actually pretty juicy, that, you know. Diantha, I'm not certain you play. I guess if you're not playing the Sylveon build, you can consider playing Diantha. But really, you care about early game getting set up. So it's not the same as like a Twins or a Teammates or anything like that, because there'll be nothing good in your discard pile unless you happen to Sycamore away an ugly hand. So I'm imagining you won't play Diantha. The Diancy for Gallade is a nice buff, though. Maybe we just play Gallade Artillery, yo. 180, for goodness sake. Hello. 180 damage. For goodness sake. <laughs> Are you hearing this? How much? Oh, wait. Oh, 170, 130, 140, 150. That does hit 180, right? Oh, right, you're saying that Ultra Beasts are all 190. I see, I see. I hear ya. Ring was actually wrong there. Maybe we just attack the active and keep Guzma for the following turn. Maybe that was really bad. Yeah, probably bad. Let's get a one to bad. That sounds pretty bad. The only saving grace really is that they still need to develop a Vika Volt to do anything to respond our Mew. And responding our Mew was useless, and they're never going to be able to get a Guzma play as well as like a Vika Volt and a good attacker. The hand has to be insane. So I think we're never in a losing position at this point, but. Yeah, Kakui. There's always Kakui, boys. Oh, Glade Artillery. Do you have to write that into our new thing? I want to believe. It's on the Omnipoke spreadsheet. Okay, nailed it. Right, we've got another half hour. I'm absolutely knackered. I'm f I'm flagging already. Played way too much Bully for one day, but it's the only deck I'll be I can be bothered to play at the moment. So. I mean, so, I'm so uh, I'm distancing myself from Pokemon at the moment just because I'm upset that I can't go to the tournament. So I'm trying to try as little as possible to be in less pain. <laughs> so please excuse all the bulu that you're seeing. I'm trying to have a low rim rate with the deck so that I don't feel like I had a good deck for the tournament. You know what I mean? This is for uh, Brazil, unfortunately. He adds 90 damage for Gallade. That's true. Oh, my goodness, my leg. 
I've got to do, I've got a load of new stretches that I've been given from my uh, physio as well. <laughs> that is mildly painful, I'd say. Oh, you finished your dissertation today? Oh, what a feeling. Congrats. Yeah, let me know when you're free, Max. Anytime after like seven, most days I'm free. To chat, if you want to hop on Skype or something. Play some booty carp to increase my win rate. Yeah, I'll focus on the new format. It'll be fine. I don't need. I don't need day two worlds. <laughs> I always do so well in day one. <laughs> the word destined on this channel. Almost a good hand. Good job. Espion guards the play, you think? Espion guard, eh? Oh, nice. Get to refresh our almost good hand to hopefully get a good hand. Almost a better one. Or a much worse one. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is the person in question Jon Snow? See what he did there. Um, four plus seven is eleven, so he can't GX me for double death, double dip death. He could GX me just for tempo in general, though. Even just dealing with this Grobin is powerful for him. Or just putting a hundred on either of these guys. Guzmer encounter. Is that my play? Just to find a charger bug? Feels really bad, man. Maybe? Okay. It's Mac V. Thanks so much for following. Hey, thank you. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, grow up. <laughs> uh. Where's Kirkham? Thought he'd be here. We've got I've got to end it in twenty five mins. He hasn't even showed up. He's not even shown his face. Oh rude. We'll invite him again. I know he's working late. But uh That's no excuse. No excuse. Is he gonna take the two prizes this way now? Perhaps. No, he's drawing bad too. Oh no. It's Google Doc might have broken my computer. Oh no. Frugal. Not the frugal doc. By ourselves. More turns? More? What is going on here? Lads, can you fill me in on what's going on here? This Lele's getting big. In a big way. Uh, 
Go to the big phone, doesn't even matter, but we're doing it. Let's see who can draw worse, shall we? Oh. Me. Turns out it was only blooming me. Mwah, mwah, mwah. He is running low on the old goose front, though. So are we, obviously, but... He needs the goose. Trash large. Not so scary. Right now, anyway. Tram poppers back in the deck. We don't want to draw into basic energies too much. So let's keep deck thinning like a pro. I don't think 40 is worth it on a Garba Smork. Let's just try and uh, hope that his one card hand isn't a Guzma. Can I play Pissimian? We deleted Pissimian after Monday. Could rebuild it and then delete it again. I'm doing the world a favour by just playing loads of tier bad stuff on stream and then shine a light on what it really is. Because it feels like lazy people play tier bad stuff because they don't realise how tier bad it actually is. Or they don't care that it's tier bad. So. This way, we're letting everyone know that these decks are tear bad. Tear rolling down your cheek bad. Holy moly. <laughs> Goomy just filled up my screen. <laughs> the image was too large. <laughs> That's massive. Nailed it. Best card in the set confirmed. They have their Guzma. Oh no. Not the 30, that's the thing I'm most scared of. No. This gives me pressure. I do like a little bit of pressure now and again. How long can we live on this terrible hand though? I think we can just do this and try and tempo out. We've both had some real weird, jank, garbage hands. It's a risk. It's a risk. I'm willing to admit it. But it's pressure. Don't really feel... A synth like a Cynthia is that strong because of the amount of jank we're putting back into the deck to shuffle in. Top four us took up with a tier bad deck. Hey man. It can happen. Top four is still top four. Rolling high is a thing in Pokemon. Obviously playing well, but... What's that? Just because something's tier bad doesn't mean you can't do well with it. You're just putting yourself in a worse position. Trust me, I've played many a tier bad deck. I'm somewhat of a regional expert in tier bad. I don't mean regional expert in that I do well at regionals. I mean regional expert in that I just have a lot of experience in... Playing tier bad. Tier jar. Does he even play DC in his deck? Who knows?
He plays Taurus in his deck. So there's that. That's a card. Really hoping for Miss Magius to do well. Oh, wow. Chaos Wheel. The Return. <laughs> Man, Wellord's not tier bad even, I don't think. Wellord was like a known tier, at least. An acknowledged tier. To be fair to Wales. Tier acknowledgement. All we ever want in life. <laughs> I do this. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Thinking. Thinking. Deal with Garbador with the Mew. Then I have to deal with a bunch. I'm out. I, I have too few Guzmas to spend a Guzma on this, really. We just have to hope that our blowers get us there. So we have to get through this guy. We go this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Which means we attack with a Mew while we can, because we have abilities. We bench this. Attaching the lightning doesn't make sense. Uh, the only way... No, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. This attachment makes sense, yo. Ah! Oh. Ah, by then. <laughs> what did you do? Oh, man. You know, things can happen. I've paused the stream, so I'm going to need a full explanation. Colorblind struggles, I say. Oh, Christ. <laughs> oh, it's been like 30 minutes since my last dirt moment so it is time it was due let's see that i'm at the end of my rope boys this will be our last game then if there's still time remaining i'll fill the time with some booster packets booster packets oh yes cat's gone wild Next time on my cats. Lowest points is we've all rating. <laughs> I love packets. Packet hype. Mm, okay. <laughs> Luke's loving it. What do we need blower for? We need blower for parallel? That's about it. And we do play three, so I think we can comfortably develop a Bulu. And uh, cash in on a couple of draws with the monkey. Going first, we're not too worried about our grubbing getting KO'd. Show my Zoragadi deck? Sure. 
Ah, okay, it's a Brooklyn Hill build anyway. It's not a Zoroark Lucario. It's a, maybe a straight build or a Lycanroc Lucario. Or a Buzz Cario. There's still a handful floating around. Look at the excitement for, for all these booster packs. Don't believe it. Not a bad draw. Attaching is fine. Cheeky red candy off this. All that. That also works. That'll do. We'll give him a reason to not want to deal with our Vikavot. Known as Mew. Looks good. Yeah, Zorogadi, I think, is a decent player for Brazil. Then again, I also think Zorogadi is a decent player for Brazil. Zorogadi is one of the two decks I'd be testing. I were going. You can actually jab KO this Oranguru, and that would be mildly upsetting. With a strong energy, he can jab KO. Thanks to double Reggie. Jab! Jab, jab! Jabby, jabby, jab, jab, jab. This. Two bench space, four prizes could be one bench space, one prize in the next set. Broken. What's the appeal of Zorogadi? Never really understood it over some other attacker. I think the current appeal is that there is stuff like Quad Hooper and Sylveon um, roaming around. Ooh. So... Um, oh, you're right, that is only 100. I'm dumb. Oh no. Jab isn't a KO. Oh wait, but he's okay. Gonna it, was, it was the wrong way around. Yeah. Um e. But when was that? Yeah. So it's a Zorak deck which has the fighting element, so has a fighting chance against other Zoro decks. And it has a fighting chance against the mill decks. And that's an appealing trait, I think, right now, because I think that is one of the go-to ways people are looking to beat Zoroark with a mill element. Or, not even mill. Quad Hooper's not mill, but it's like a you-can't-play-the-game type thing, you know? So it has answers. I mean, Buzz Rock is still probably one of the best decks going into the tournament that you have to be concerned about. Mm -hmm. And it's still a questionable matchup. So there are risks. But I think with Espion Garb, there's less safety in picking Buzz Rock than there has previously been. So unlike in Australia, where Buzz Rock was a powerful, easy play, now it's just a powerful play that's uh, got the headache Wait. of Espion Garb. Beast Ball isn't in the set. <gasps> huh. No. We rated it poorly anyway, right? Yeah. Which means I've got to find another image. No. Oh, for goodness sake. Hey guys, now Jab KOs this Mew. Maths. Maths.
Beast Ball TCG. I think two field blowers are enough in Zorigardi, or are three needed? I guess it's really down to how much uh, thingamajig you expect a Rooney. You know, decipher those words. Um, what am I trying to say? No idea, mate. Um... How much garb you expect? I can't tell you one way or the other. It's just down to how much you expect, really. Effect. 120, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190. So if we do go for an aggro Guzma here, there's the potential punish of him just attaching a strong, playing an N, blowing us up. If we just deal with Riolu, he's left with one Riolu as his only attacker. He can brooklet out other Riolus though. His bench one is quite quite able to deal with this Lele. Then we can be behind on the prize race. Uh, alternative lines. Alternative lines. Alternative lines. Two, four, six, eight. Okay. Oh, okay, that changes my plan. The plan that I had was to stack up a big Lele here as our backup attack. Yeah, well, that's less likely now, isn't it? Um, two, four. He doesn't know that, though. We still have Hidden Burst, and the, the Skylar can still be more Burst. So we can do all this stuff. And just do this. Does Parallel City hurt Zorigardi? It does, it does, yes. Of course it does. Um, it I, it depends what state in the game it is. It hurts it, it definitely hurts it early. Early parallels really and really do frustrate the deck because they're basically left normally with like one Rolts and if you parallel plus deal with the Rolts then they're really an average deck that can get heavily punished. So it is something to be aware of. But if it's like a mid-game parallel you don't really care. At that point you're just getting rid of like excess stuff because you've already done your candy shenanigans. So, it's kind of a toss-up. Wow, they watch more to Sushi Master. They're playing a Sycamore? Quick maths. Oh, hey, cat. You've not been around all day. And you're sniffing the fruit bowl that I was eating earlier. Good, good. Yeah. Make me bin it. Go on, I dare you. Excellent news. Push me. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Is that the top deck that won us the game? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 2, 10. Yes, yes it is. Yeah. Can yeah, confirm, yeah. it is the top deck that won us the game. Let's just do some counting. Crouching Tiger Hidden Burst. See, the plan was all there, boys. It was all set in motion. Lele, getting big, Lele. doing the stuff, being a man, taking some knockouts, getting brave, getting powerful, smacking him in the head. It was all part of the plan. Sick Lele. <laughs> Nailed it. Just your casual 7 energy Lele, as per. Easy. Easy Lele. Numbers is numbers. <gasps> we have four uncommon chests. What a day. And I thought today was a bad day. And <laughs> guess who promised some pack openings? It's all turned itself around. Uh, 
Oh, the Avalog and all. Unrequited. Didn't even, didn't, even, didn't even need to flip it over. Just gave it me. It's like, here you go, bud. Have that on us. Oh, you had a bad day. Got some suspense here. And it's all been blooming worth it. Cause I got the Alolan Raticate, didn't I? I want some nostalgia value. Let's go. XY Evolutions. These do not count as packs. Packs count as packs. Don't worry. They're coming. If they do, I feel scammed. Oh, yes. We've got the leak, the leak slack, slap far-fetched. Oh, my God. Far-fetched mirrors. <laughs> the first London internets. Yes. <laughs> Whoa, got the Imakuni's Dodo. Unreal, can't believe it. That's a secret rare, mate. Right, let's go to a, what's in breakthrough. What can we get in breakthrough? I don't even know. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll show you Zoro Guardian in a sec. I'll do it, I'll do it. We'll get these packs out of the way. <gasps> or Photon Wave Mewtwo EX, my seventh one. And that. So, <laughs> my seventh favorite card. <laughs> I was like, Joe, how have you counted that? <gasps> you actually got a good card. I don't believe it. Oh, don't spoil it. Let me wait and see. Value. We did it. Oh my god. That's that's a pretty good card. That is more value. I don't believe it. That's insane. These five boosters, unreal. Oh, oh my god! What an insane... Right, five more booster packs of... coming your way. Booster packets, that was. Well, these have just been lying in wait. Go on, open me. Yeah, got the Fight Alone Lucario. Oh yes, world's winning card oh my what god it's the, it's the back to back right there played that in a tournament a league cup no league challenge I should say can confirm in Xerneas break no, no, not Zonia Spray. No, 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 no. Oh, these five packs have been insane, man. Absolutely insane. I need this card IRL. My graded collection. The one I have has a dent in it. I'm so upset. Because I've had so much more free time, I've gone through my entire collection looking at what's gradable and what's not. It's taking me a long time. But guess what? I've made a spreadsheet. And it's... It's big. It's very big. Because I've, I've got every set. Like, I've, I've completed every set in English. Um, up to hollows. I don't have all the, like, rainbows and all that stuff of new sets. Um... And there are still some EXs I'm missing and gold. I'm missing a lot of gold stars. But I have up to hollows of every set. And I now want to get to the point where I grade a bunch of them. I've graded a load of Wizards of the Coast stuff, but I want to grade some other stuff too. <gasps> Value. My eighth one. Unreal. Okay. I don't know whether this is going to work. Yeah. But I think we have a Google form. Oh, Jack a lackle. Don't toy with my emotions like this. To the Discord. <laughs> Shall I try and do it? I'll try and do it live, huh? Yes. Uh, okay. I will put it in the chat so people in chat can. Let me first find Zorogardi. That needs to happen, and then I'll do some behind-the-scenes typing away. Do I even have Zorogardi built? Oh, do I not have a built? Do I delete it? No, don't tell me I did this. Uh, you did after last week. You got angry. No! Okay, let's build it quickly. Uh, let's take this shell. Uh... 
got angry and deleted it. That doesn't sound like me, Jack. You sure? Uh, what would the Rolt split be right now? It's good to smack Boswells and Espions, but it's bad to get hit by Espion GX again. 2-2, two, two, maybe 3-1 in the fairy direction and have one smacker. I'd definitely go 3-1, I think. Yeah. I'd definitely go 3-1. Okay. Let's get a Mew in here. Uh, what else do we need in this deck? Uh, Tina. Because Greninja's not a top 10 deck right now, but people still play it. Sad face emoji. Fairy energies in there. Let's take out some stuff. Uh, we'll play one of these, one of these, these go. That goes down. Let's go there. That goes down to two. That goes down to one. I think that gets cut as well. And we want some candies. It's just that. I can't remember what the list is. I think it's something like this. Do. Oh, yeah, I was meant to add in something. Oops. It's pretty much just towards Internet's list, really. Oh, we need to put Mallows in here, actually. Two Mallows. Uh, so I've got to make a space. Does it only play three candy? I feel like it only plays three candy. Yeah, it does. It only plays three. Yeah. So I'm playing four Rolts, three Candy, two Glade, two Guardi. It's a really weird line, I guess. Oh, you're playing 2-2. Two, two. Interesting. I want to play two Glade if I was going to Brazil. I would really want to. Would you want to play two Guardi? Yeah. I'd want to play two Glade. Uh... I'm not sure if I'd want to play two Guardi, but it's so important for Guardi Buzzrock. Helps to have... Guardi helps, yeah. Guardi helps with Buzzrock. I think something like this is a starting point at least. I think there'd only be one or two changes that you'd need to make from this to be mm. correct. But yeah, there's a quick sample of Zoro Gardi. I'll save it again. So the last thing we need to do is check the Discord before I've we started it. I've just posted it in the chat as well. So it's in the chat. The link from the chat. Okay. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Jack's done a thing. But I don't know whether it, it works. Does it have it doesn't have the translations? No, so but but we know. We can't know what cards do. Okay, we're just uh letting people I've I've added in a, I'm just about to add in a bit at the top that says if you're unaware what the translations do, head to Poker Beach. Okay, brill. Brill. So we're gonna have this then. Jack's an absolute diamond. And you can uh do your own ratings here. Uh for all the cards. So that'll be something that'll be excellent for our review review, but will be also excellent for our future set reviews if we do this before or in line with our set review. Uh we will have two ratings then. We will have a community rating and our own rating. And I think that will be definitely interesting. And it's a bit of fun oh, for you guys as well. Joe. So I can export the data. Yeah, I can export the data to the spreadsheet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's over. We've only oh. gone and done it. So oh, yeah. feel free, guys, to jump in. It shouldn't take too long in the grand scheme of things. I mean, you can snap decide as many as you want. Um, yeah, you don't even have to vote on all of them. If you just want to vote on the two or three best cards, feel free to do that as well. If you're adding the, um, the, the link, Jack, to the Poker Beach, do you want to put what our rating scale is based on, the 1 to 5? Because at the moment it's just a 1 to 5. Yeah, I'll find a way of doing we that We need well. to add um, what the 1 to 5 all means. <laughs> what, uh, what they all correlate to. Because right now people might be giving 1 as in the best rating. Yes, that's a very good point. Um... So there's still a few kinks, but... That will be excellent for our future content. So that is awesome. But yeah, that's going to be it for today. So I'll leave Jack typing away. It'll be in the Discord if we update it. And it's in the chat box for you now if you want to get it done quick, sharp. 
Um, but yeah, we'll probably review that when we review Forbidden Light in like a few months time after it's come out and we've had a few tournaments with it. So should be good fun. Uh, cheers for watching guys. And um, we will be back very soon. I think either tomorrow or the next day we'll, we definitely need to get the top 10 for Brazil done. Yep. Um, and then it's Forbidden Light stuff. You guys yeah. have a good idea of what's to come, but uh, the list will be coming at you all all before it comes out on PTCGO, hopefully. And yes. if there's any crossover, we'll uh, jump onto PTCGO ASAP. And you know we'll always be testing and doing the streams with the new deck soon, and that means there'll be a new first to nine coming soon as well. So tons to look forward to. Oh, yeah. Should be good fun. All right, guys. Uh, hopefully we're getting back to... Hopefully, I'll be getting back to good scheduling now. Um, I'm just going to basically grit my teeth and get videos done a lot more often. Hopefully, getting to maybe not necessarily dailies, but close to dailies again. Uh, because I've felt bad that I've been slacking for a bit. And it's only been the streams on the channel, really, for the last couple of weeks. But I'm just going to have to we've force got, myself through it, really. Yeah, we've got a lot planned. And hopefully, I'm going to be able to help with the backdoor stuff until after my exams, and then I plan on streaming a lot more for you guys as well, or at least doing more videos and stuff. So, you know, it's all... In the next two or three months, there's going to be a lot more content, hopefully, leading up to yeah. Worlds. Excellent news. All right, guys, we'll see you on a stream uh, next Monday. Cheers. Bye.